All right, so here we go, heading into uh, Germany 18. I I was thinking about this, has kind of implied, if you're pl ever playing me and we get into the teens and it's a close game, you can expect me to take a shot because I'm just not patient. This is my, I guess, I'm learning about myself as one of my weaknesses. Kind of like the, the Toadstone game, we got to that point, I'm like, yeah, I just want to take that 60-70% shot, whatever it was, on, on Tokyo. Here we had that shot on... 60-70% shot on Moscow. Eh, yeah, we're just going to take it. I don't want to play the long game. Um, so I, I was trying to think. I only think I may, I, the, the, if y'all have watched the Lone Shark game, I think the Lone Shark game went into the 20s maybe. Maybe? I, I only, I've only had like maybe one or two or three games that I, I can think of that I've, I've gone into 20-plus rounds. I, I just I get impatient. So so there you go. If you're, you're looking to play me and you're, you're – contesting me pretty long that there's my weakness uh, so anyways here we go we're continuing this this one on um i it's hard i, I just can't believe i'm in round 18 of this game uh so u.s they they bought three fighters four empty one bomber so are, are shoving the fleet over here did good because again it's another round they're not buying infantry that's what like round 16 he bought three infantry again italy three infantry are going to Italy each time three infantry so that's three turns in a row. Yeah, well, it's it's been what? When's the last time he had back? So round 13 is when he bought infantry. You know, 14, 15, 16, 17 were all, you know, very minimal purchases for U.S. as far as ground goes. So so that, that that's the good news. Um, the, 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 the bad news is he's definitely starting to overwhelm me. As you can see over there, he's overwhelming me in fleet. So um, we've got... Anyway, so he bought four infantry, three fighters, and a bomber. He did. We, we can see he he wiped my big force here in West Russia. So he did the four infantry, eight fighters, one bomber attack on that West Russia stack I had. Uh, he also attacked my that was my sub my or two subs I think in season thirteen down there. But here here's a good big, he killed the two subs. But here's a big one West Russia. He killed seven infantry and AA and three tanks. He lost eight fighters and four infantry so we got some good hit backs so i mean that's what 80 uh 92 ipc he lost i lost what uh 18 21 39 and, and AA is 44 so uh, a big swing for me so that brazil taking brazil and then west russia um big time as a big shot on him and now he's he's kind of weakened in here and we're Slow, we're, we're, we're getting our forces together now um, because our fleet pulled all his fighters this way. His fighters can't reinforce as easily now either, right, into Moscow. So uh, when we get to Japan, so we're going to have to calculate what are our odds of just pushing there. Um, but I think this had him pretty frustrated. He probably got kind of tilt because don't say anything to him. He, this, he'll, he'll be hearing this after this after the, these turns, but uh, he left me a shot on Washington here. Uh, one fighter, I got two infantry and two battleships. They already took out one fight or a double fighter stack on their own. Um, he can still fly these two fighters here, so shh, don't say anything. Maybe he won't notice, and he'll leave me just one fighter on Washington D.C. Because if we could sack DC and take US's money and a build, and oh man, that that could r actually really turn this game around. Um, so, in any case, we're not gonna work. We're just gonna keep our fingers crossed and see. Hope he doesn't remember that or see that or whatever on UK's turn. But what we are gonna look at is now we got a pretty good stack. He's got very small forces on this this side here. I really want to get Italy because again, I don't want him producing units over here. He's got no units on Britain this turn either. So we really stalled his uh, push. Now we need to push back. So we're going to try and take this entire front up here. Japan can come back from this side and uh, really start to try to take Europe back. I mean, this has just been a slugfest here, right? Just bam, 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 bam. This, this, is, this is one bloody area. There's a lot of dead bodies in this, this area here from our battles so all right this is this is uh getting a little bit nerve-wracking i only had 17 ipc to spend so i could only buy five infantry um but hopefully after this turn we'll have a have a little bit more 
all this infantry attack not my most comfortable because here we go one two three one two three one two three i hate the three infantry on one attacks um but as long as we retreat with still one infantry attack in each of these worst case we lose two to nothing on these and if as long as we take italy we still got berlin safe for now um, but this is just so big to try and get some money going and get these units killed and start pushing back into Europe here. All right. And away we go. Look, all of them are favorable and strong. So why this one's favorable and this one's strong, I don't know. Strong against the, the here, favorable here. So, I guess those in Southern Europe and uh, Baltic states, they got stronger infantry. I don't know. All right, here we go. Italy's big. Italy's big. Let's get Italy done first. Three hits. Three hits. Oh, good Lord. Okay, two hits is what we needed. One hits low for him, so that's good. All right, so we sh two hits, three hits. All right, good, 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 good. Solid. Solid, 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 solid. I'll take this. Remember, he can't reinforce France, so he's got to be a little bit careful attacking Italy back. Because I almost was about to attack France this last turn. Now, I say that, but now I'm, I'm sending out... 12 of my infantry out the other direction so I guess that does make it easier for him but we need the, the, we need these monies all right here we go all of these I'll go down to just one infantry left attack 1v1 and then I'll retreat if it gets to 1v1 but hopefully that doesn't happen anywhere oh, three sixes come on there it is all right one down and one down The rebirth of Germany. Germany comes back alive. <laughs> Boom. Right off the bat. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's keep it rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep these infantry rolling. Yeah, there we go. All right, another miss. This one would be big because this puts pressure on Corellia. I mean, he's got his, he could retreat with his transports. He's got to pull him out of France to hit him. So this is big to put some pressure up on, on to Corellia next turn. All right, right off the bat, one hit. Yeah, all right. One loss, only one loss in all of that. That is beautiful. We got a we got a new front line on the eastern side here, Eastern Europe to push. Um, Japan can keep on pushing in, you know, blitzing in from the west, literally. And uh, here we go. They're alive. It's alive. We're gonna come back here and reinforce against any crazy shots here. We can start winning some of the money income, and if we take. DC, we'd really have a big money income. So, here we go. Hopefully he's still on tilt when he comes back and he sees Germany just did a monster move. And he forgets to reinforce DC. Alright. One, two. Battleship's guns targeting DC 